Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick comparison between Surefire's DFT, their dual fuel turbo. I've got uh, the 640 model, which is a 18650, as well as the Rain 1.0 Micro. And I have the original 4K tent head for that. And I also have a high lumens head for it. That was a very low volume run that Cloud did. And we're going to see how it stacks up. The Surefire is rated, I believe, at 650 or 700 out the front lumens, 100,000 candela. And there are our targets. Now, the field has grown up. My shooting range has grown up a little bit. As you can see, deer happen to like that. And they're uh, the little fawns. They, they bed down in it. I don't want to cause any issues with their habitat there. So I've kind of let the shooting rain grow up a tad. Anyway, that's the Surefire. And now we're gonna see the original 18350 Micro. I've had this guy since the beginning. You see it's a lot warmer tint. You can still see our deer out there at the 100 yard mark. And a lot more floody. Um, now, I'm going to put on the high lumens head for the micro, which is 1650 lumens. I'm sorry, 1600 lumens. However, the Lux, instead of being advertised at 55,000, is only advertised as, I believe, 30,000. So it should have more flood less throw but 1600 lumens is quite a lot now that's on the 18350 body so i'm not sure what it's going to put out on the smaller one so it's on the 18650 so i don't know what it's going to put out on the 18350 but we're about to find out that was me juggling trying to put it together Wow, that is a wall of light. And we can still make out our deer at 100 yards down there. This is an absolute wall of light. And that's a lot of lightning. really kind of a fan of that level of flood especially when we compare it to the level of flood in our surefire now we can easily make our deer out with the surefire for sure but it's not like he disappears with the high candela head either anyway that gives you kind of an idea of where we've gone with lights. Uh, the push has been towards high candela with lumens being a secondary consideration. You can see this rain really lights up what's in front of us and has beautiful color rendition. And we can still see our deer with it, not as well, but we can see a lot more of our periphery. Anyway, I think this is a good comparison between a high lumen, lower lux light and a high lux, lower lumen light. And this may give you an idea of perhaps what you want to meet your needs.
See, we can see our deer and everything around him. I think there's value to be had um, with either type of configuration. You'll notice, I believe, our surefire just stepped down a little bit. When the surefire heads hit about, I believe it's 100 degrees, they regulate down and the lux actually gets cut almost in half. So that's kind of an interesting phenomenon I noticed with a uh, IR temp gun. So it looks like our surefire has reached, and that happens at about the three minute mark with the DFTs. So it looks like our surefire has reached that mark and stepped down and our lux difference between the two whoo some lightning is a little bit less apparent anyway uh food for thought i really love both of these lights and they both serve different purposes um anyway the rain wasn't ideal for this but i really hope you all enjoyed the video looking at some of our nighttime wildlife out here, and y'all be safe.